Welcome to our executive video series here at the Zero Trust Summit. We're here with Chris Thomas, technology strategist at Dell. Chris, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So I'd like to start by asking, um, you know, what, um, do you believe that federal agency senior executives kind of have a full sense of the gaps that their agencies have to close when it comes to achieving zero trust security? That's a good one. Um, I would say that's evolving, right? As in zero trust, the biggest piece is the paradigm shift from our traditional cybersecurity approach and methodologies that we've used in the past. So as that matures, we're starting to uncover other, I guess, hygiene or small nuances that impact your overall strategy. I guess the biggest piece that we've started to discover is zero trust is a continuous journey. You're never complete. Um, so in that aspect, I think that leadership is now starting to adjust their plans to accommodate that type of construct versus it being a you know, checklist that we've approached in the past. And then uh, what would you say are some of the most significant technical challenges uh, and or operational challenges that government agencies are wrestling with right now as they try to establish a zero trust strategy? So I would say from a technical perspective, the biggest problem that people seem to have is where do I start? Where am I today? Where do I start? How do I actually assess it? So there's a lot of aspects of zero trust that go into the operational aspect that don't include, oh, I have to have this component or that component. Is how do I use it? What's the architectural structure for it? And that really dictates that between two organizations, their zero trust journey may be drastically different. Right? How the Navy operates versus how the Army or the Air Force operates is different. Their architectures do differ just based off of their mission and business needs. So I would think one of the biggest things that you have to look at is your data structure, your data owners, how do I tag it? Uh, and this starts to impact other advanced things such as your AI machine learning capability to make the environment a little more dynamic um, and able to pivot based off of changes even in the mission. You start looking at joint operations and things like that. What we started may not be how we end, right? You may have to make a pivot halfway through that operation. So that's where I see the biggest changes coming soon. Absolutely. Well, Chris Thomas, thank you so much for joining us here at the Zero Trust Summit and sharing some of your perspectives on uh, getting to greater zero trust security. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me.